Hello everyone, I'm Simon from Simon Security Expert and on today's video, I'm gonna show you quickly and easily how to add a Texacom Connect SmartCom onto your alarm system using Wi-Fi. Let's go. In your Texacom Connect box, you should have a SmartCom unit that looks like this and you should also have a cable that looks like this. Now, if you open up the SmartCom, what I'd advise you to do is on the SSID SmartCom and the passphrase, take a picture of that because it's best to just install the whole smart com and then you can go to the next stage without having to open it up again so open up your smart com take a picture of that now let's go and mount this unit now here we have my home alarm system Texcom premier elite now if your panel doesn't quite look like this it's not the metal box don't worry it's still the same process so what you'll need to do first of all we need to mount our smart com smart com has holes here here and here which you can drill holes in your wall to match and then mount your smart com to be honest i tend to only just use these two here rather than that hook one as well and that works fine loosely mount your smart com to the wall then get your cable and feed your cable into the panel. This end is the end that goes into the smart com. So these are the ends that go onto the COM1 and COM2 on your control panel. So get this end and feed it through. Now that you've fed your cable into the panel and into the smart com, it's time to connect your cables of your smart com onto the control panel. You have this one here with four cables, red, black, blue, and yellow. That goes onto COM1, which on this panel is there, and the green and white go onto COM2, which on this panel is there. They're not always in this position, depending on what panel you are, but they're always on this control panel board. So locate them and pop on your smart com onto there. Once you do that, once you do that go back to your smart com and get your cable here and with the yellow cable on the right hand side, push it up into the slot where it fits there. And now after a few seconds, we should see this blue light come on to know it's got power. There we go. Now, if you've taken all the details of the picture on here, you're all done on this part. So you can just close the lid of the smart com and screw it up from the bottom. Also, you're all done inside the control panel. So you can just pop your control panel cover back on. You shouldn't need to go in there again. Now it's time to get your smart com connected to the network. On the right hand side here, there is a button on the yellow line. Hold that down for five seconds with your finger. One, two, three, four, five. And all being well, we should now get a flashing light on the second light in to show that the smart com is speaking out trying to connect. There we go. Now it's time to get your phone because we're going to need the details that were in there to connect the smart com to your wi-fi so now go to your wi-fi connection select smart com and enter the password that is on the actual smart com unit then go to the website 192.168.2.1 and you'll be taken to the configuration website for your smart com now on here you can select your wi-fi network from any of the drop down list as long as it's seeing it and then enter your password in order to then connect to the network. Once you have done those steps, your second light in from the right should now be solid blue to say that it's got its Wi-Fi connection. Now it's time to go into your engineer mode, press number seven to go to UDL slash Digi Options, press yes into there. Now the first thing we're going to want to program is UDL Options, press yes into there, press yes, yes, and UDL password. Put in a password into here, that's four digits, for example, one, two, three, four. Press yes. After that, go to COM port setup. Press yes to COM port setup. COM port one, nothing fitted. Press no. Scroll up to smart COM. Press yes. Then go to COM port two. Press no. Scroll down until you see COM IP module. Press yes. Then you want to scroll to program digi, press yes, arc one protocol disabled, press no, press up. So you see Texacom connect, press yes, and now come out of engineer mode. Now to confirm we have connected to the network, go back into engineer mode, press number seven, press yes, scroll up until you see enable Texacom connect app. Press yes, modems online, that's what we want to see. Initializing, arc one, 
Texasom Connect app code 658798. So you'll get this code. What you need to do now is go to the App Store, download Texcom Connect V2, create an account, and you'll go through the process on that. And one of the processes will be when you get to the end, the Texcom Connect app code, put that in where specified, and then you can log on to your system. Bear in mind for app services now from Texcom, it is a paid for feature. So that's worth being aware of. But you have now installed the Smartcom onto your system. You need to download the Texcom Connect V2, and then you can go through the process on there. But that's straightforward. So you'd be good to go. There you go, guys. Hope this was helpful. See you in the next one.